Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Today we're going to have a bit of a 10 minute introduction to designing web pages in that sort of grunge style using uh, the brushes in Photoshop. So let's start by having a look at a few uh, examples I've found on the internet. Uh, this is uh, Jeremy Zevin's website and he's got quite a nice effect here with uh, grunge to display this sort of landscape scene. Got some uh, sort of rough edges here on the boxes on the SYC FUK webpage. Again here on Soma down the edges some sort of grunge brush effects here. Be Unique Records and also a uh, nice example here on bushtheatre.co.uk you can see in the header on the uh, borders of their images and also down here in their footer got some quite nice grunge effects and some sort of rough edges to the to the design look that looks really nice. So before you get uh, started in Photoshop, you ideally want to download yourself a good set of uh, grunge brushes. And there's a really great set here on wefunction.com and it's called 42 More Subtle Grunge Textured Photoshop Brushes. Completely free to download and to use, so um, have a bit of a Google round. Um, if you don't like these ones, um, simply search for Photoshop Grunge Brushes and uh, get yourself a little collection that uh, has that sort of style that you're looking for. Okay, so once you've uh, downloaded the brushes, you can simply double click them and they'll install for you automatically into Photoshop. Or you can drag them there by going to Applications, uh, finding the Photoshop folder, going to Presets, Brushes, and by dragging the, uh, the file you've downloaded into that folder just there. Okay, so um, I've got my uh, brushes already installed and I've uh, created a bit of a background for, for us to work on, simply just a big sort of blue and brown um, rectangles and then on top of this I've just sort of burnt in some uh, like a paper texture, again just to give us a bit of a stage to work off with these, uh, with these brushes. So um, I've got quite a small canvas here just so that we can keep the video proportions quite zoomed in so that you can sort of see what I'm, uh, what I'm up to in, in Photoshop. So let's sort of maybe uh, mock up a bit of a, bit of a wireframe for some elements that we might want on the page. Let's maybe go for a couple of squares. Okay, so this could be like a little mini web page design perhaps that we're, that we're working on. Let's just pop that in the center and I'm uh, just going to merge them together maybe make them a tad smaller okay so um, next we can start to uh, explore the brushes now it's worth noting that um, even before we install any uh, grunge brush packs into Photoshop Photoshop actually comes with some quite cool um, brushes as standard so here's the standard set of brushes that you get in Photoshop before you install any additional ones and you'll notice that there's almost 50% of them are actually some quite nice sort of chalky grunge effects that we can uh, that we can use to start our sort of design off. So let's say for example I was to pick the uh, 36 chalk and I can start to apply this so I've got the layer selected with these uh, boxes that we've uh, merged together I can literally start to apply this uh, brush stroke by sort of rubbing it along the uh, the edges and all I'm really trying to do here at this stage is just to um, remove the straight lines from the design so that it sort of uh, blends away into this uh, brush effect that we're creating. And again, it doesn't matter too much if you, uh, if you go wrong. Obviously, it adds to the uh, sort of uh, natural um, rough effect that you're looking for with these uh, sort of designs. So I'm just sort of trying to work away these uh, straight edges, like I said. Now you want to spend a lot more time doing this than I am. For example, experiment by making the brush size smaller and bigger, and you can do that by using the shortcut on the keyboard, which are the uh, bracket symbols. So you can sort of zoom in and really get those uh, those edges a little bit more uh, a little bit more perfect than what I'm doing here. So let's just uh, perhaps finish off these two boxes. Obviously, you can uh, do this in any colour that you like to uh, to suit the design you're working on. You know, I've got a uh, like a sort of very dark blue and brown background, and we're just using white here, just simply so that you can see the effects um, that we're managing to create with these uh, with these brushes. OK, 
Okay, and let's just do the, the last one. And the reason in this design why I've started with three boxes is it allows me to essentially create a grid for the design. And when I'm sort of chipping away at these edges with the chalk brush, it allows me to maintain quite a nice sort of straight edged um, layout um, that I can work from. If you were to literally try and sit and draw these boxes without having the squares there in the first place, you'll struggle to sort of maintain the, uh, the ratio that you're looking for. So always a good idea to draw out some rough boxes first and then just simply blur the edges away with uh, one of the brushes either in your grunge pack or that comes standard with Photoshop. One of these simple chalk brushes just here. Okay, so that's sort of uh, stage one, and already we've managed to create quite a nice effect. Um, could quite comfortably go forward in a design with the uh, sort of effect that we've created already, so that looks quite nice. Uh, one of the great tricks that you can uh, try is if you go to Filter, Sharpen, you can actually sharpen the edges, which can look uh, quite nice. I'm just going to duplicate part of this uh, thing that we've created already. I'm just going to sort of paste that in. So I've literally just duplicated one of these, you know, the bigger square just here. And again, I'm only just doing this for sort of speed, but you can perhaps try creating another bigger box behind it. If I just maybe flip this 180 degrees, you can start to layer up your um, grunge layers in Photoshop and maybe apply some filters like uh, soft light. And you can start to sort of get like a an additional edge to your sort of grunge boxes. So at this stage, let's just click back onto our, uh, let's put that layer behind, sorry, and pick this layer back up. Let's take a look at the uh, grunge brushes that we have just downloaded. So I'm just going to load those in. And you'll see inside this pack we've got some sort of uh, blocky sort of uh, rough edge shapes which can be quite nice to, to work with. A few more down here and then there's some sort of uh, scratchy effects that we might want to also apply onto our design. So let's maybe start by uh, creating a bit of uh, background grunge and let's just create a new layer. And again I'm just going in between the two layers that we've created already. Now, the difference between the chalk brush that we use to create these rough edges and these um, very detailed grunge brushes is you only want to push these and click them once. If you keep the mouse in the same place and push it twice, you'll get like a sort of darker effect. If you try and sort of slide this around, the you know, you'll tend to find because you're using a bit of a brush, you don't get quite as, as nice effect. It's best just to sort of dab these brushes in like sort of one or two clicks without moving the mouse. Let's have a bit of a play around with some of the other ones. Let's try maybe this one. And let's go back onto the layer of our boxes. And you can see, you can sort of resize this, uh, this sort of shape to sort of apply some extra detail to the edges. And again, I'm just sort of clicking once or twice. You know, we can perhaps flip through some of these other ones. Again, resizing it down to a sort of size that we can uh, work with on our little boxes and maybe let's just try one more maybe this big one so like I said it's really sort of trial and error with this uh, with this process um, you know you really need to just have a bit of a play around with these brushes and have an experiment and try and create the effect that you're looking for. So I've already got quite a nice sort of um, rough effect sort of styled up and let's just say for example I was maybe working on a winter sports website um, we could start to bring maybe some elements into our design like a picture. Uh, let's maybe just uh, resize that in a little bit. You know try experimenting by creating uh, masks using your grunge. If we were to right click this layer maybe create a quick clipping mask uh, slide that into place. You'll see that you can create some quite nice effects um, with your grunge layouts and the uh, sort of photography that you might need to bring into your design. Again, have a bit of a play around with the you know, with the rubbers. Ooh, let's try let's try a different. Maybe try the grunge brushes. Look to use them as rubbers.
you see you can create some quite nice effects. Obviously I'm just experimenting uh, and clicking around to show you some of the effects that you can do. Like I said, it's really down to trial and error. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Hope the video has been useful. If you have any questions, comments or contributions, please leave them on our supporting blog post or on our YouTube channel.